So as you can say, <coughs> excitement all the way. Now you see a pirate ship. Pirate ship is going to make you wonder. So I'm sharing a little bit of our internal jokes with you as we go along. Because when we deal with serious matters, it's also important to have fun, make the journey enjoyable, and that also provides the glue that keeps the team together. So with the partnership of Mr. Robert Sangweni from Shikumani Primary School and Mr. Neelan Pawthon from Liberty, Neelan was the pirate. The pirate meeting the professor. And you know what I mean with professors, ne? Yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm going to invite them to come up and to share with us their journey that they walked together this year, Neelan and Robert. I think they must be the first time I was ever referred to as a pirate. <laughs> In terms of introductions, um, let my beloved principal go first. Good evening. Carlos, study at It's better that you're next to Tabang. Tabang will note you, and uh, you'll pay dearly for that. Uh, I'm, I'm Robert Sangwini, the principal of Shugumani Primary School. Uh, I've been the principal since 2007. And about the school, Shugumani Primary School is a quintal three school situated in a garden section in Tembisa. I'm the only one in the Swadi group. And it was established in 1971 and has a current enrollment of 1,007 learners. Right, um, I'm here with my partner, Nilan Potem. Nilan, what are you? <laughs> my name is Nilan. Um, I work for Liberty Life and I look after sales. The reason I joined the group, and I think that was one of the reasons for the partnership, is you have a sense of you wanting to do it, have a challenge that goes beyond your daily routine. And I think that's the reason why this, this program is so appealing to us. Right, uh, about the school. Uh, we were in a situation where we find that uh, we don't have similar challenges as other schools, which is based on academic progress, like, like in maths improvement and stuff like that. Our challenges were, First, capacity building for both the school management team and the school governing body to make sure that when you start with the journey, you start with the basics. Learn the basics first. Put your systems in place. Let everybody know what is it that needs to be done. And secondly, the medium term, strategic development, that is Annually, you have to have the short-term, long-term, and medium-term goals that you're going to achieve throughout strategic planning. And the third one, the long-term one, right, is to build a shelter for our kids, whereby when it's time for break, they sit in a proper place, learn etiquettes of cleanliness, healthy eating, those are the challenges that we are about to deal with. Really? So in terms of the um, short-term goal, what we wanted to do is we wanted to implement a leadership development program for the uh, school governing body, the school management team, as well as the head of departments. And so every, sing every uh, second week, what we introduced was leadership skills and we conducted sessions at the school, and then the next session would happen at our offices in Mainland, and that culminated into the medium-term plan. So what we did for the medium-term plan was we hosted the school governing body and the school management team at our offices in Eastgate, and um, they planned for the next year, meaning 2018, and beyond. 
In terms of the long-term goal and plan, what we structured was we identified the Tembisa area as a strong area for development. So if you look at where the school is located, yes, it is a township school, but in and around it was a lot of corporates. So we structured a plan to raise funds in order to sustain the idea of building that shelter for the kids, as we discussed. So the medium and short-term goals have been achieved, but the long-term goal in terms of what we needed to do raising funds is a work in progress, as you can imagine. Right, as you can see from the video footage over there, uh, these are the e evidences of the spin-offs of our short-term, medium-term, and long-term uh, uh, goals. But uh, the first one is the strategic planning, which was hosted by Liberty Life in their regional offices where we spent time looking at ourselves doing the whole school evaluation to check where are we as a school and where do you want to go and how to go about it. Then the second one also, that of leadership training at Liberty offices, one at school the next weekend at, at Liberty. And uh, lastly, what is it that we have achieved in all this, the benefits of this program? The school now has a long-term plan, which is renewable or reviewed annually for the next three years, looking at our short-term, long-term goals. And at the same time, this goes on as part of infrastructure school meetings and training as it was. And lastly, the results of fundraising, right? Uh, I love this man. <laughs> Very much so. And uh, we have achieved uh, where Liberty has donated 30 case for the building towards the building of the school shelter. Thank you. Yeah. I think when we, when we started the program, we took that the benefits and we said what we want to achieve and implement is a legacy that lasts a lot longer than what you do. So if you look at the quote, it talks about Maya Angelou talking about your legacy is every life that you've touched. So we'd like to believe that we've, we've done that in terms of what we've implemented. Many people say to me, I don't smile. There's evidence that I do. <laughs> and, um, it's not so much that I don't like to smile, but uh, the equipment that I have in my mouth. <laughs> That's the end of our presentation. Thank you. So before we let these two gentlemen go, um, just a quick story about the pirate. So you did see that we started our uh, presentation. The informal video that Bess made shot was a treasure hunt. A treasure hunt without a pirate is a sad state of affairs. <laughs> so we had to find in this creative process, and as you'll see during the course of this evening or at the end if you're interested, we have shot three lovely videos of our year together, which is the first for me, and, and this is the fourth circle that I've, I've worked with. Um, so Neelan took the character of pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you very, very much. It's been an unbelievable journey. Robert, Neelan, enjoy bedtime reading.